2024 Paris Olympics. Tom Tiscock takes a stunning men's cross-country victory and wins back-to-back mountain bike gold. Tiscock, 24, staged an extraordinary comeback from a puncture to win he held off French home favorite Victor Kritsky in the thrilling sprint finish. The tire mishap threatened to spoil the party, dropping him down from first to ninth place, 40 seconds off the pace. But he picked his way to the field after a lengthy tire change to bring himself back into contention just behind Kritsky which roared on by a partisan home crowd. Overhauling Kritsky with meters to spare in a dash for the line, Pitcock could scarcely believe what he had done, Pitcock said. The Olympics is the biggest thing for me and to be able to just still pull that off despite what happened is pretty incredible. What I'm feeling right now is a bit all over the place. All I know is that I did whatever I could in that race to win. Pitcock is a cross-discipline cyclist with an Alpe West Tour de France stage win and a cyclocross world title on his CV. Pitcock said the race was definitely the most emotionally draining victory he had experienced. The race was decided when the top two finishers raced through within the last few hundred meters. Pitcock accelerated and took the inside line on a left-hand curve. There were only maybe two, three or four places on the track to undertake, Pitcock said. Two of them were full gas anyway, the rest are single track. It was really difficult. But even though his attacks were booed from the partisan French crowds, he chose his moment well. I didn't do anything wrong, Pitcock said. I was in front, and he left the door open. We were racing for a gold medal. I wanted to win as much as he did. It was a surprise move that, although wholly legitimate, left Kurtzke between a tree and a hard place. By the time he had registered Pitcock slipping past, grazing his left shoulder, he was flailing in the woods. He could have also gone left, and I would have gone right, Pitcock said. In this position, you don't hesitate, the gap was there, and I was going for it. The Frenchman had no complaints. It's part of the race, Kurtzke said. We all want the goal and we all fought for the goal. Silver medalist. Kurtzke, 29 admitted he had mixed feelings about the race. Everyone dreams of an Olympic medal. It's still very satisfying. I knew if I could stay close, I could come around him near the finish, or have a chance, he added. Alan Hadley from South Africa finished third. We are already eagerly looking forward to the BMX finals. A freestyle on Wednesday and racing on Friday. Pitcock will have a chance to win another medal in the men's road race on Saturday. Thanks, legends, and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls.